Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk, and in fact, this is the first of my Forest of Dean explorations. And as you can see, I'm in the Forest of Dean. I'm certainly in a forest. Now, I'm a little confused as to where to go. I do have a map with me, and I'm trying to follow the paths, but I don't want to get lost. Now, there seems to be loads of paths, and I can hear the road. I've parked up in somewhere called Speech House Car Park. I'm going to take this one down here and see where we go. I've never been to the Forest of Dean before, so this is a first. Um, I've driven in from Worthing, where I live, it took about three hours, and I've got up here and I've got my Ordnance Survey map. And there's millions of walks. There's millions of things that people say, oh, you've got to go and see this and you see that. And they name all these places. I've spent some time looking at um, walks. I've got a little book of walks for the Forest of Dean. But the thing is, it's very confusing and a bit daunting when it's your very first time to do this. So I thought I'm here for four days. And obviously it's not all forest, but I mustn't, I mustn't get lost. If it was just purely lots of walks with these magnificent, whatever they are, trees, these are presumably pine trees, um, some sort of fir anyway, fir or pine, um, with a few, there's an oak that I've just passed and a few deciduous ones. And that looks like, I don't know if that's ash. No, that's definitely not ash. This is beach, I'm going under. Anyway, the point is, I have no idea where I'm going and what I'm seeing. It's just at the moment a question of trying to come to terms with the lay of the land and what sort of landscape I'm going to see and how I can make this into interesting videos. Clearly, I've got to be uh, as interesting as possible. I did take a quick look in Cinderford, which is the nearest market town, but um, I didn't get right into the heart because I figured I wanted to make the best of the weather, which we have plenty of today. Beautiful sunny weather, as you can see. And I wanted to get cracking and see what there is. So I'm just going to take the most easiest and simplest route. And one of the things I've brought a whole load of books on trees and tree identification. Um, I want to look at trees and learn more about trees. This beautiful oak here. Um, I can't tell you whether it's a Cecil oak or a peduncan oak. I always get um, confused on on that uh, word, peduncanate. Peduncula, I know, is the one where the acorns are on the stalks and uh, the sessile oaks are where the acorns are very close to the twig. So I figure there's going to be quite a lot of this walking along on these rather lovely soft and easy to walk pathways um, with on my left this uh, very interesting dark forest, which of course I'm filming in June and all the leaves are up and about. And so therefore the underwood is pretty bare because not a lot can grow in the underwood when the light is taken up by the canopy of the leaves above. Anyway, we'll press on and see where this first walk takes me. So, it's very easy to get lost. I'm a bit panicky because uh, I don't want to get lost. As long as I kind of know where the sun is, I suppose, I need to buy myself a compass. Right, now, have a look at this. Here, come to a tiny little, a little pond and uh, it leads into a lake 
but I can see lots of dragonflies and water boatmen in this tiny little area. And then if I come around here, there's these little streams that that run off. Although actually there's no there's no stream in there at the moment. Morning. Not very talkative, so she looked at me very suspiciously. I can understand why. I think because this is quite close to Cinderford, I imagine I've seen quite a few cars in the car park and, you know, she was obviously a local. I imagine that, that this attracts a lot of sort of local people. Um, I wonder how far you have to get into the forest before you know the local dog walkers and the local people are no longer there and it is just people out hiking walkers and uh, you know more remote i'm hoping to find many more remote places to go and do my filming in otherwise i'm going to feel slightly inhibited if the world and his brother turns out to be here but it's lovely to hear the crunching of my feet and then all these amazing fox gloves and also, I'm going to be on the lookout for wild flowers, if I can see them. Look at these. It's just very peaceful. I think this would be a, a fantastic place if you wasn't making videos. <laughs> However, this is just the first, so I'm not going to be defeated. Let's uh, see where we go. I've come off the, uh, the the sort of um, it's not a tarmac road oh, there's something something running through the um, through the ferns um, I've come off the, the, the little road track and I'm back on this uh, walking path again now which is still this uh, this route that I'm following I think it's the Gloucester way or Gloucestershire way I think it is and I'm aiming for somewhere called Crabtree Hill and I think that'll probably be the extent of my 10 minute walk. One of the things I was hoping to do on my first walk was to get up high and see if I could get a view back looking over Gloucestershire and the River Severn, the winding River Severn. I will try and achieve that at some point over the next four days. If you pan to my right and here you'll see all these trees which go on into the distance it is quite incredible i'm pleased to say that i haven't seen many people it is during the week and it's not in holiday season so that's that's pretty good um, this is a slow incline that i'm doing now so what about the forest of dean what do i know actually not a great deal at this stage i'm hoping to do a bit more research when i get to my uh, gypsy caravan that i'm staying in at huntley in uh, the north of the forest of dean um, but i do know i was talking to a local when i parked up looking at my map earlier um, that it was an area of coal mining at one point and iron ore mining and there's lots of there were lots of deposits also there was a lot of um a lot of squatters back in the medieval period i think who built their houses and built their um little villages around uh, by erecting their houses quite illegally but over the years there have been the enclosures acts which have turfed them all off oh here we go I've got two paths so let's have a look I'm there oh, I don't know oh take the ah yes okay Crabtree Hill I think is on this path so I'm going to leave the main Gloucester uh, route and come up here I don't think the uh, terrain is going to change very much I should just mention about forests 
People often get confused with the word forest and they think that a forest is a very big wood. Well, that's not strictly true. Forest actually is a French word and it really is referring to an area of woodland, heathland, scrubland and it isn't that it is all trees. So uh, it's not as you might think just forest, 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 although of course it implies that there are trees naturally. So as I am here out in the open with lots of gorse, lots of ferns, lots of heather by the looks of things and then a number of different fir trees, pine trees and the occasional oak I've seen and some others that I haven't yet identified. It's, uh, it's not necessarily a, uh, a completely heavily wooded area. So the correct term for a place of trees is woodland and this sort of place which is the forest of Dean is a forest because as you can see it is quite open and forests were like that and this was at one time of course the royal forest of Dean. I'm told that uh, boar are, um, have been reintroduced. Uh, I think it's boar, is it? Wild boar or hogs? Or is that the same? Oof. Anyway, I've just come across um, something quite fascinating. Here, look, this is a enclosure stone by the looks of things. Um, it's like, a, at first I thought it was a gravestone, but it's a metal, it's, it's a, an iron um, post, I suppose. It's uh, in the realm of um, Queen Victoria because it's got VR and a crown. And um, it's got New Beechinghurst enclosure being Kensley Ridge and parts of Serridge and Beechinghurst is what it says. Uh, mounting to 660 something, I don't know if that's foot, uh, re-enclosed 1896. So you've got to keep your eyes peeled, haven't you? I've never seen one of these, a little enclosure thing, which I suppose is just marking the spot saying, hey, get off my land. We've now enclosed it back in 1896. Well, all I can offer you in this uh, video, at the end of this video, is this terrific view and uh, I'm not really sure what I've achieved but for my first visit to the Forest of Dean I'm exhilarated, I am, I'm thrilled uh, and yes I'm following the map, I'm here and it is a glorious sunny day, it really is, it's a beautiful sunny day so I'm going to leave you from this open part of the Forest of Dean near whatever hill I said it was, Club Club Hill or something. What did I say? Can't even remember. Oh, Crab Tree Hill. I don't know if this is a crab tree. No, this looks like an ash tree. I think that's an ash, little ash growing there. Anyway, I shall leave you and I will catch up with you in the next video. Do join me. Hopefully I'll have got a bit more of the lay of the land. Till then, goodbye.